Hello, everybody. Welcome into your Talking Pittsburgh headlines on this Monday, May 22nd, 2023. Finally had a good weekend and a good start here to the weather uh, for this week. And it looks like it's going to be pretty dry. A little dip uh, for temperatures as we have some... Uh, Nice uh, temperatures in the 80s, down to the 60s, and then back to the 80s. Hopefully we'll stay uh, dry and warm for the upcoming Memorial Day weekend, as that's where we start our information with you on headlines. Memorial Day service here at the City of Fitchburg will be held on Monday, May 29th. Join the City of Fitchburg for the annual Memorial Day program in remembrance of our fallen service men and women. This year's speaker is Fitchburg resident Captain Coyne J. Kenny, speaking on honoring our nation's heroes, reflections on Memorial Day. In the event of inclement weather, the program will be held at Fire Station Number 1, 5791 Lacey Road. Otherwise, you can join us in the, the Gorman Waste Veterans Memorial Park on Monday, May 29th at 12.30 p.m. That address is 2377 South Fish Hatchery Road here in Fitchburg. This week kicked off the Brush and Yard Waste Collection Week. This will be happening all week long. And uh, this should be out at the curb by 6.30 a.m. Monday of the collection week. Brushes must be less than 5 feet long and 6 inches in diameter. Lay brushes perpendicular to the street with the cut ends towards the street. Also place your yard waste in reusable containers or bags. Compostable bags at the curb, not in the street. Do not tie the bags. Police District Community Meeting will be happening in the East District this week. It will be on this Thursday, May 25th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. at Doxa Church. The Police Department will be giving a presentation on the following, uh, including receiving updates on the Police Department events and news, learn about crime and calls for service data trends in your area, learn crime prevention tips, share concerns and feedback with Police Department. This meeting is part of our, our month meeting series that will rotate among our four police districts. To learn more, you can go to the Fitchburg Police Department's website and get the information. We'll also be covering that one as well and play that back here on Fact TV for you in case you missed it. Happening this week as well, Toddler Explorers at the Fitchburg Public Library. Uh, join us on Wednesday, May 24th at 10 a.m. Spend a morning at the library engaging with movement, play, and socializing with other little ones ages 1, 2, 3. 1 through 3, not 1, 2, <laughs> That's, yeah, you get the point. Metro redesign. Uh, the route redesign will be taking place starting in June. Want to make sure you're ready for this. Schedules for the upcoming redesign routes are online. You can go to mymetrobus.com backslash redesign and click on any route to view their times. Trip planning and Google Maps with the new routes will be available as well. Stay tuned for other updates as they come in. Again, this is kicking off in June, uh, so we want to make sure you're ready to go as uh, we see the bus routes change just a little bit here in Fitchburg for sure. And finally, the annual Click It or Ticket Seatbelt Safety Campaign begins. The awareness, messaging, enforcement efforts encouraging seatbelt seat use to save lives as Memorial Day weekend and summer travel season approaches. Law enforcement agencies across Wisconsin, including Wisconsin State Patrol, are stepping up patrols for the annual Click It or Ticket Campaign. The increased enforcement of seatbelt violations runs through June 4th through uh, June 4th nationwide. State law requires all drivers and passengers to wear seat belts when traveling in Wisconsin. Children must also be in a proper child safety seat for their age and size. The simple action of buckling up is proven to save lives in a crash. Buckling up in such an easy step and it is one of the most important things you can do. And remember every time you get in the car, remember your loved ones that you want them to come home safely every trip, every time. That's from State Patrolman Superintendent Tim uh, Coronana uh, said a Wisconsin primary seatbelt law allows law enforcement to stop and cite motorists for failing to wear a seatbelt. Penalties are higher for transporting under unrestricted children and uh, passengers can also be cited for not wearing a seatbelt. The goal of the click it, or t click it Ed ticket is not simply to issue citations, but educate the community in the importance of wearing a seatbelt. A 2022 survey found that 87.5% of Wisconsin motorists are wearing seatbelts, which is below the nationwide average. Have a great day, everybody.